Now I told you all, you stick around long enough and things are gonna change. Y'all remember the wooden bench I built? It ain't there. <laughs> I said in the last video that things would change. Well, there's the new bench right here. I decided to take the wooden bench out and put this bench against the wall. But I also decided something else. This uh, black top, which I do like. Not sure that that's going to be strong enough to hold some certain things that I put on there, whether it be firearms or be my lathe or something else. So, not today, but I'm going to be making a trip to Lumberyard to get some 2x12s. I'm going to put a new top on there, a new wood top on there, which will probably be a little more durable and a little more user-friendly. What I am going to do with this top is I'm going to cut it into strips. I'm going to use it for shelves because I'm going to put something nice on the wall up here. I'll bring that to you in another video, but today I got to do some cleaning to get this bench against the wall because I'm back to not being able to move in here other than to do a complete 360. Time to get some cleaning. All right, I got the bench moved around right now, and this is going to be one of the reasons, one of the reasons that I want to change the top on this here. All right, so in this position here, it leaves me quite a gap back here. Stuff can roll off the back, down the back of the bench, be nothing but a pain. Over here... Not much I can do about this, but over here, there's another, probably a two inch gap here. Stuff's gonna go off under here. Like I said, let's pick up a couple of two by sixes. First, I gotta stop by the bank and get a loan for the two by sixes. The price of lumber, oh my God. Anyway, we got a couple of two by sixes, two by twelves. I'll be all right. Still, you need a loan for that too. Anyway, so I'm going to stop and get a couple of those and put a nice top on this. And like I said, I'm going to take the black and I'm going to cut that into strips and use it for shelves up on the wall up here. Told you, stick around, things will change. So yes, I got some major cleaning to do, but here's where we're at. Now I know it doesn't look like it now, but I'm trying to give myself more room, less clutter. Whew, we're going to tackle that wood mess over there. That's the old bench. Took it apart and it's just kind of stacked it up over there to get out of the way. But, I mean, I think it's coming. I got a little bit of I got some stuff I'm giving away here. Tyler's going to take some stuff over to his shop. He needs some shelving, so I got rid of a shelf that was right over here. It's gone. So that freed up some space, again, to put my stations there for my sander and my grinder. It's always something. And it's cold. We're getting a snowstorm today. Well, it's supposed to be getting a snowstorm today. And I'm also supposed to be heading to London to see my pop who's in the hospital in London. So we're going to see how that goes. Anyway, I cleaned up here a little bit. I'm going to mount my vise. We'll get that all set up and at least I got something to use. Done. All right, here's where we're at. A little bit off the floor. I can actually turn around and move around a little bit without falling on my face. Okay, so for now, I've decided to put my sander and my grinder under the bench along with the lathe. I'll pull it out as I need it. I don't use them every day. Like I said, how things change. I might not be building stations over there for the sander and the grinder. Because like I said, they're not used every day. Might be nice to have a dedicated spot for them. But I mean, I can always just grab them, put it up on the bench, do what I got to do, put it away. That might be more better. Or better. All right, makes a pretty good headway. I got the screws out of two by fours and stacked up over there. I gotta make them a little neater, but it is what it is. What y'all may not know is that back in the day, I think I had a mullet. Anyway, back in the day, I used to collect oil and gas stuff. So a lot of signs, a lot of oil cans, a lot of different things. I've sold off most of that over the years. But I still have a little bit, which is also going to go up on the wall over here. But something that's pretty cool and pretty special to us, have a look. Check that out. Jetliner. That is an original wooden wagon by Jetliner. And Jen actually used that back in the day. She didn't have a mullet that I know of <laughs> back in the day to pull Austin around. So it was actually used and then just kept here and... 
the uh, the top's getting a little warped on it, or the seating area is getting a little warped on it because they just used thin veneer back then. But other than that, it's in great shape. Nothing's bent. Everything looks good. So I might just clean that up and hang it up on the wall too. All right, that's gonna do it for here in the shop for today. And again, that kerosene heater been running for a couple hours. It ran for about an hour and a half before I come out here. It is minus 12. And I see I'm in a hoodie. I could probably be in a t-shirt in here. So it actually heats up pretty good. But I am looking to switch to propane. The price of kerosene, I just bought, uh, you know, I showed you the price of it before. For the big one, I just bought this yesterday, and uh, it is a 3.78 liter jug. When I bought the big one, that one was $15. I just picked that one up yesterday, the, the small one, the 3 liter one, $21. I'm, I'm not quite sure what's justifying this, but I need heat. So I am going to be switching to one of those double head propane ones that you screw on top of a barbecue tank. I'm going to switch to one of those. Uh, Paul was telling me about that. I should switch to propane because it would probably be a lot more cost effective. And probably heat just as good. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to take a break from working on the shop. Uh, I got word that there was people ice fishing down on the Thames. Um, I imagine there's probably six to eight inches of ice by now. It's been cold for a long time. We're going to head down there. We're going to have a look. See if anybody's fishing. You won't see this guy do it, but we'll see if anybody else is out there. One guy over here, only one vehicle. That seems to be it. He seems to be the only guy down here. Now he's only about uh, maybe 10, 15 feet off of shore. Maybe because he doesn't know what the ice is out there. Nobody really knows unless you're out there. And like I said, you're not gonna see this guy out there. But I heard the other day there was probably 15 to 20 people out here. Now, I'm not sure if the walleye are in here yet or not, but that's what I'm, that's what I assume they're fishing for. I'm gonna go for a bit and see if uh, this guy catches anything. I'm not sure if you noticed, but on the way down here, uh, that creek that runs along the road that you see me fishing all the time in my videos, uh, somebody put an ice shanty on there, ice tent, and uh, they're in there fishing. That's that car that was stopped on the side of the road. They're in that tent fishing. I can tell you where that ice shanty is there's only about two feet of water, so I'm not sure how much of that is froze and how much they're actually fishing, but I guess you never know. I have fished in some strange places where people would have thought you'd never catch fish there and caught fish, so maybe I'm the one that's out to lunch. So right now we're sitting at about minus five. Uh, get some considerable snow. It might not look too bad, but uh, there's more coming. It's supposed to get about 10 centimeters of snow. All right, so I've been here a few minutes. Another vehicle pulled in over here. This guy's gonna go fishing. Oh, on the other side, another couple cars pulled in over there. They must be gonna go out and brave the cold and the wind and the snow to catch fish. I really don't have a problem with ice fishing. I would like to ice fish. I'm more concerned about the ice breaking and or separating and me ending up uh, somewhere I don't want to be, which is the only reason I don't go. I might give it a try though. But not today. There's not a lot of action down the river, so I think we're gonna head home. Maybe finish working on the shop, get some food. Either way, I'm staying out of the cold. That's what happens when you get old, trust me. All right, made it back home. Had an awesome plate of spaghetti, homemade sauce. You cannot beat homemade sauce. Anyway, one guy fishing. A few more came down, as you saw. Really surprised to see the fishing tent on the creek, nevertheless. Back in the shop, gonna finish up a couple things here. What I do got is I've got a very huge decoy bag here. I am going to screw this hook in the wall up there and put the bag up there, get it up off the floor. The more things that are up off the floor, the bigger space I got. That's the final thing that I'm gonna to do today. Also, 
did not make it to London. The snow was so bad we could not make it. The 401 was just covered right from Windsor to London. So we are heading down tomorrow morning to see pot. Anyway, I gotta get this done because I'm freezing. I don't have the heat on and I gotta get back in the house. Alright guys, so the idea is to mount this big bag of decoys up there on a hook. Let's get her done. Not the prettiest didn't break any fishing rods that's a good thing so i got it held up there by the strap up there and the floor is getting clean which is exactly what i wanted i want everything off the floor so that i can move around do some things i got the nice bench you know what i made a mistake guys don't ever do this i told jen i wanted to go get some 2x12s to put a new top on this bench Ooh, did I get the what fours for buying a brand new bench and then ripping the top off it to put a new top on it? I should have just went and done it and never said a word. She don't come in here. She would never know. Might do it anyways. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. Do not tell Jen. Anyway, hit that subscribe button while you're here. We'd love to have you along. All kinds of different content coming. And don't forget to get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Later. Sorry about that glare there on that light. That's not very nice. This is the uh, hook I'm using. But I'm going to first pre-drill the hole. <laughs> that way it goes in easy. <laughs> Such a child. I mean, it's big. And so what I want to do, 